The fig tree is the one of the Sheva Minim that actually is not connected with any specific mitzvah, but in a sense it's in, it incorporates all of them. Because the fig actually represents the Torah. It's almost a metaphor for the Torah. And so I used my fig tree to be the base of it, the trunk of it, to hold the Torah. And also coming from the very famous Pasuk, we say whenever the Torah is is risen in the Bet, in the Bet Knesset, which is Etz Chaim He, the Torah is the tree of life. So here in my picture, if you could see it clearly, sorry, I have in my trunk of the tree a Torah. And I'll explain a little bit why the fig is connected with the Torah. The fig tree is said to grow for 70 years. It's a very long-standing tree. An average lifespan, um, again, is depicted in Tehillim, is supposed to be 70 years. Thank God today the lifespan is longer and may it continue forever. Be'ezat Hashem. Again, Shedichayim Nitzchim. But what I did over here was I did the old man um, passing the Torah to the little child. And it represents the concept that um, throughout our life, from the time we're born, the Torah is part of our life, and it's our Etz Chaim, it's our tree of life. But it's not just for little children, it's not for teenagers, Just it's not just during your adult life. It's not just during your old life, it's your entire life. The Torah is part of our life, and it's our Etz Chaim, it's our tree of life, for our entire life, from the minute we are born till the end of a person's life. So that's what I did, and I, I tried to do it very lovingly, the old man... Uh, transmitting the Torah to the little child to represent the concept also that the Torah passes from generation to generation. The fig tree is known also to work the entire year on producing fruit. So again, it represents the Torah in that Torah is not only for when, you know what, during winter when there's school, I learn Torah, but during summer when it's vacation, there's no Torah learning. Chas v'chalila. Every single day of the year, we should be learning Torah and connecting with Hashem. And so I put the four seasons in there to represent the concept that during the four seasons, um, the fig tree is still grows and still... I don't know if it actually produces fruits. I'm not <laughs> very knowledgeable uh, scientifically about the fig tree, but this I do know from the little I've learned that the entire year the fig tree is flourishing and is, is working on producing the fruits. And so I put the four seasons in it. Uh, the sun is the summer, the fall, the winter depicted through the snow, and the flowers for spring. And so with this picture, I wanted again to send the message that every single day we should be connected to Hashem through uh, connecting to His Torah. And may, again, may the true connection to Hashem happen speedily in our days with the coming of Mashiach Tzidkeinu.